All right, I am back with the Beat Unboxes number eight. I am still wearing my uh, Bowser t-shirt that I was wearing in my previous unboxing because this is a makeup review for the review that I did not post yesterday because I just, I didn't do a new unboxing video yesterday, but here we go. This is number eight. Uh, this box is a little bit weird shape, but I have seen that it is from Shout Factory. So I'm reasonably sure I know what is in this box, unless it's some sort of Ultraman thing because I watched Ultraman a week or so ago and uh, that was on the Shout Factory website. and. I don't know, maybe they saw that I watched that and wanted to send me some Ultraman crap, but I, I sort of doubt that because I actually did order something from Shout Factory a couple months ago, and I actually forgot. I didn't forget that it was coming out, but I didn't actually actively know when it was coming out, and it wasn't something I was like, wow, like, I can't wait for that to get here, but, you know, I got a box from them, and I think I know what it is, so I'm going to unbox it here. And this is the first box I've ever gotten from Shout Factory, so I have never seen this lovely Shout Factory tissue paper before. It is, you know, it's their logo, and it's red and black and white, and it's a color scheme I like. It's Persona 5 colors, and colors of, uh, you know, playing cards and those sorts of things. But, alright, so I'm going to pull this out, and inside of this box, which is now empty, and going on the floor, we have what we have in this box. Okay, we've got a poster tube, and the poster tube is of this new Transformers the Movie 1986 artwork from Shout Factory, and we also have this yellow mailer envelope. I would actually think that maybe they would have been better served mailing these two things separately. I think it might have been cheaper than mailing a box of that nature, but, you know, they are a uh, big shipper, so they probably know a little bit more than me. But in my experience, if you ship things via media mail and a poster tube, it's better than shipping, like, a heavy box. But inside of that box, we have this new version of Transformers the Movie 1986. It is a steel book. Um... Hopefully the lighting is good enough that you can sort of see this, but if you want to see it better, you can go to Shot Factory's website or just Google Transformers the Movie Steelbook uh, 2021. But this is the 4K Ultra HD plus Blu-ray version limited edition Steelbook with four exclusive art cards and new bonus features. Transformers the Movie celebrates its 35th anniversary with a brand new 4K restoration. Now, I think my TV is actually capable of playing 4K, but I don't have anything that will play 4K, so I don't have any way of playing that. But this, what, there was a new version of this, and I have never owned Transformers the movie on Blu-ray, much less 4K, so I figured that this was the time to get it. Uh, bonus features include the new 4K restoration. I don't know if that can be considered a bonus feature since it's sort of the selling point of this edition. New feature length storyboards and new 2016 private acoustic performance by Stan Bush. Uh, if you've heard Dare, if you've heard The Touch, and you have many times, then, you know, you know Stan Bush. I've seen Stan Bush. I've had the pleasure of seeing him in person several times and seeing him perform. And I even got his autograph on like one of his more recent albums at the one and only Hascon a couple of years ago. It was kind of a sad event because like they had an arena and like there was barely anybody even there to see Stan Lee. I think there was like five or six rows of people, but like Stan Bush was set up like at a random table, like upstairs we walk around the arena and it was just totally empty and deserted and I felt bad so I went over to make sure that uh you know he would have a sale and an autograph because because I love Stan and I don't like that particular album very much but some of Stan's other albums I've loved a lot uh let's see here there's a documentary looking back at Transformers the movie with members of the cast and crew that doesn't say new audio commentary doesn't say new feature at storyboards trailers and tv spots none of that stuff says new but you know, Transformers the movie, 1986, the only Transformers movie ever made as far as I'm concerned. I used to like Transformers 2007. In fact, the Goo Goo Dolls song from that movie, Sam and uh, Michaela's theme, Before It's Too Late, is my wedding song. But I've actually stricken that from the record because I hate the rest of those movies so much and I consider those fanfics, they never happen. But this movie, this movie's awesome. Uh, should I pop open this? This... Yeah, I guess if this is an unboxing, I should probably pop open this poster that would otherwise join my pile of posters on the floor that have never been opened ever. 
So let's see here. Oh, I see that they've dented this. Good quality, guys. Kind of kind of ruins the uh, point of having a poster tube to protect it if you just throw it in there with dented cordless to begin with. But yeah, that's neither here nor there. So let's see here. Beyond good and evil. I'm looking in my camera, which has this reverse, so I can't see here. Beyond, beyond good, beyond evil, beyond your wildest imagination. Here is this poster of Rodimus Prime holding up the Matrix from the new artwork from the Steelbook for this movie. Uh, it was a free edition that came along with this Steelbook. So I am pleased to have this 4K Steelbook. I can't watch it in 4K, but I assume that, yeah, there is a regular Blu-ray included, so I will check that out. But this is probably the movie that I've seen the most times in my entire life, and I'm looking forward to watching it tomorrow. So that is my bonus unboxing of something that you know, really, there's not much to unbox. But I wonder if I should, should I open it up? Should I open this up and uh, look at the interior artwork while I'm unboxing this? I don't know if I should have, uh, you know, cut into a steel book to open it with a X-Acto knife. Yeah, I might have, I think I cut the, uh, I think I cut into the steel book itself a little bit there, the side, but I mean, I'm not gonna sell this. So I guess that doesn't really matter. Okay, so. Here's what the artwork actually looks like on the back, which we couldn't see before. It's Galvatron. And it's also saying, beyond good, beyond evil, beyond your wildest imagination. And it's got like some little etching artworks back there. Like you can kind of see when the light reflects like this weird texture on the back there. And that's sort of interesting. We'll pop this open. Here's the discs. Uh, you know, there's Rodimus holding the matrix and behind him is I don't know, something that looks like out of the Matrix, some sort of like techno-y, like 80s looking picture of, I don't know what. Here's an envelope. Uh, we can see on the interior, there's Unicron floating in the background. What's behind these? Uh, nothing. And uh, how do I get this out? You can see that I don't open a lot of DVDs anyway. Oh, nothing. All right, so here's the complete interior artwork. It's just Unicron, you know, floating with some gods. So let me pop these back in and we will see what is inside of this random envelope. It's probably like some postcards or some crap. I don't, I don't remember. They, I'm sure they told me what it was when I ordered this, but I wasn't paying attention or I forgot it. Yeah, it's, it's these like weird cards. Here's Megatron when he's going to like kill, uh, Ironhide at the start of the movie, and he's like, no, oh, and then Megatron's like, fuck you, I'm gonna kill you anyway. I don't think that's what, I don't think that's the actual dialogue, but you know, whatever. Um, here is Unicron's head from the very end of the movie. Spoilers, Unicron dies. Here is, you know, Hot Rod holding the Matrix. I think this is pre-transformation. It's kind of hard to tell if it's pre or post-transformation in Rodimus Prime, but he's holding it. And finally, we have this picture of Optimus Prime when he is like busting in to go fight Megatron or something like for their big battle at the start of the movie. Uh, the quality on these pictures is, I mean, it's not great. These aren't really postcards or anything either, really. I don't, I guess they're just art cards, but you know, I mean, they're, they were free and I guess they're fine. I'm gonna put them back in that envelope and they're gonna go back in the steel book forever and ever. So I don't know, kind of a waste of paper, but Cool to have those pictures. Uh, and anyway, that is everything. If you purchase one of these, I think they I think they sold out like in a couple hours or something, or maybe they're still available. You'll have to check the Shop Factory website and see. But this is everything that's included with it. Poster looks fine, steelbook looks fine, 4K sounds good, Stan Bush performance sounds awesome. So that is everything about this 4K restoration Transformers 1986 movie. And I hope that you have somehow enjoyed this superfluous review, unboxing, whatever you want to call it of this new steelbook. All right, and that is the second and final one of these unboxings for the day. Later.